how do you feel about the future of this country? Well, uh, and what's going to fix it? Okay, well, that's a big, big question. Uh, uh, personally, as as an immigrant, as a war refugee, a long time ago, but you know, East European refugee came here and did all the things to become a citizen and to, and to become a, a a member of this society. I love this country. And the things that I've seen happen here are, are, are very, very tragic and unfortunate. And it's been, uh, and my my feeling is it's been uh, the liberalization of uh, values and the good uh, Christian moors that built, that were the foundation of this country have been eroding. Um, we're in this uh, struggle now to uh, pull out economically, but it's it's on many, many levels. I. I'll, I'll, I love this country, as I said, and I'll fight to death for it. But my, my, I haven't seen my sons, who I miss very, very terribly for almost 14 years. I think domestic laws are rotten. Uh, everything's in the uh, females' uh, corner. Men have hardly any rights. We're just wage slaves and uh, whipping boys if we don't like it, and it's. You know, the media portrays us as, 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 has been demonizing us for a long, long time, white men in uh, particular, men in general. We've lost the family. I think that's where it all starts. We need to get the family back without a strong family. There isn't a strong country. There will not be a strong country. We need a strong family uh, roots for these children. We need both, both of the input of a man and woman give them a well-rounded uh, uh, vision of uh, how we interact and how how we can make this country great again. And get some real unity going. Yes, yes, some some cooperation and unity between the gender wars. I don't know what this gender war thing is about. I mean, Do you feel about, that there's some kind of a radical feminist agenda you know, I, to I, it? I, I do believe it's, you know, it's, it's, it's an easy agenda. They're trying to revise history and, you know, take credit for things that they had very, very little to do with it. I'm more than willing to give the women, you know, their, their 50. I'll even give 60% and more. But don't be stealing my children and beating me down legally, you know, criminalizing me for your, your emotional ineptitudes. All right. Okay, well, this is Street Talk, and... The reason, the reason I had to keep, keep it quiet, Corey, I was wanting to give him more of the, more of the thing and uh, more of the face time. And plus, last time I always started coughing, and, and I didn't, I didn't have a cough button. And uh, hey, sir, is that a Mason? Yeah. You're a Mason? Yeah. Can I get a shot of that? What degree are you? Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. That. Royal Arch. Royal Arch Mason. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, what's that stand for here? Yeah. Ancient, free, and accepted Mason. Ancient, ancient, free, and accepted Mason. Oh. Ancient, Scottish free, and right. Scottish right. Yes, sir. Okay, Red Lodge, Blue Lodge. Blue, yeah, Blue Lodge. John A. Bell, Lodge Number One. You have to be uh, asked to come in, right? Be one act. Okay. Oh, all right. You don't like a flyer, though. Nope. You recording me? Yeah. All right. What's up? <laughs>